You're watching Stay Slick Wrestling with Ollie Andrews. What's up, everybody? Happy Sunday. This is the Slick Stallion, Ollie Andrews, and you are watching episode number 13 of Stay Slick Wrestling. Today is Sunday, June the 10th, 2012. Happy Sunday to everybody. I'm recording a little bit early. It's 3.33 in the afternoon on Sunday. You're still on YouTube.com watching Stay Slick Wrestling, episode number 13. I am the Slick Stallion Ollie Andrews, and I am your host and guide on this tour of World Wrestling Entertainment. You know the deal, ladies and gentlemen. Dominating and dominated, push or pull, we got some honey you need to and another finish of the week. You know the deal, we'll start it off with dominating and dominated, five to one. I'll start it with dominated, number five this week. There's Hornswoggle, number four, Derek Bateman, number three, Alberto Del Rio, number two, Randy Orton, and number one, Michael Cole. Highlight of that has to be Michael Cole for that ass kicking he took from John Cena on Monday Night Raw. He was talking shit, and he crossed Big Johnny, and Big Johnny getting that match with Cena, and it was a notice qualifications match, and Cena beat the fuck out of him. It was so great. Michael Cole, you, sir, got dominated. Alright, let's get into the dominating 5 through 1. Number 5 this week, John Cena, number 3. And number 4, Big Show, number 3, Seamus, number 2, Jack Entire, number 1, Token and Truth. I like that. Great match on, on Friday Night SmackDown. He's worked a great match in the last couple of weeks on Superstars. We used to go on NXT. Drew, you are doing there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Dominated and dominated. Now we got some first one for pushing for a title. Four of them to come off the shelves. Get the package. I only got four of them this week. And they're going to go like this. First or pull, Michael Cole, the voice of the WWE. I'm going to say pull. I'm fucking sick of you, bro. You're repping Texas, and yet you're from Syracuse, New York? Who the fuck do you think you are, JPL? This is Wall Street, Michael Cole. I'm gonna say pull. Prove me wrong. Push or pull. The air assassin, the sinister Scotsman, Drew McIntyre. I'm gonna say push. I've had a lot of influence on Drew McIntyre in the last few months. He's done really well in the ring, he's done great on the mic when he gets the chance, he's worked great at house shows, he's gotten over with the fans, he's starting to draw a little bit of pop, maybe he's going to make a face turn, which would be nice, but that's never going to happen because nobody wants to see Drew McIntyre as a face, oh my god. I'm going to say push, dude, show me what you can do. Push or pull, the all-American American Jack Swagger. Hey, I'm gonna say push. Even though I hate you and you're a clear old Oklahoma fruitcake, I'm gonna give you a chance, Jack. You say you piss Budweiser and head butt bald eagles? I kid you not. Look at his Twitter page, at real Jack Swagger. Show me what you can do, Jack. I'm gonna say push. And the last one, push or pull, Cody Rhodes. I'm gonna say push, Cody. I got your shirt going through laundry right now. Uh, I really like what you've done on the mic in the last couple months. You've gotten a lot of heat, which is really good. You know how to get over. I'm going to say push, Cody. Let's see what you can do. All right. With three minutes and 55 seconds into the video, we got dominated out of the way. We got pushed or pull out of the way. Hunter, you need to. I'm kind of pissed at Hunter right now. But I got three of them this week. Whoa. Hunter, you need to. I almost said push or pull there. Hunter, you need to bring in more managers. You've had managers like Bobby the Brain Heenan, Arnold Scalin. You've had managers like Sensational Sherry, Michael P.S. Hayes. Shit, I can go back in the annals of time and name off a shit ton of managers. All we got right now is Vicky Guerrero, Sakamoto, and on occasion, Michael P.S. Hayes. Bring in some more managers, Hunter. You know, get some people over. Hunter, you need to bring in more managers. That's number one. Hunter, you need to have longer matches on televised shows. 
I'm sick and tired of the main event being 45 minutes long and it's boring as fuck when Drew McIntyre and Sin Cara worked a match on SmackDown that was only 8 minutes long. That match could have been 15, 16, 18 minutes long. That would have been a great match. That would have been a great stretch of time to get both guys in and get them both over. Hunter, you need to make matches longer on TV. Hunter, you also need to get rid of Sin Cara's lights. Uh, speaking of aforementioned Sin Cara, get rid of the fucking lights. Who the fuck is he? So when I make it to WWE, you're going to have emerald green and white, uh, white and black lights when I wrestle? Oh, I'm looking forward to that shit. Hunter, you need to cut Sin Cara's lights. <sighs> Hunter, you need to, ladies and gentlemen. How do you feel? Let us know. I'll tell you how to contact us at the end of the video. And now we're going to get into the... Boom! Finisher of the week. I'm working on new shit every week, people. I'm kind of fucked up. I improv this shit on Friday. Didn't even watch all of SmackDown. So bear with me here. Shit, I'm only 6.15 in the video. I'm good. The finalists, we got three of them this week. The 619 by Rey Mysterio, the Skull Crushing Finale from The Miz, and the Million Dollar Dream by Ted DiBiase, the Million Dollar Man. It came down to either of those three moves, and only one of them can be the Stay Slick Wrestling Finisher of the Week. Let's break it down real quick while I got some time. The 619's technical name is a Tiger Faint Kick. Rey Mysterio does it really well. He gets a lot of pop when he hits it on somebody. I was watching the 2011 World, uh, Royal Rumble earlier, and he got it on Jack Swagger pretty good. The skull-crushing finale is a forward inverted white Russian leg sweep. This shit's devastating. Miz always does a little bit of theatrics when he comes up. And then the Million Dollar Dream is a sleeper hold. Gets him down on the ground after they tap. Shoves a million dollar or a hundred dollar bill down his throat. Does the million dollar man? That shit's nasty, but that shit is bitching at the same time. But the million dollar dream is eliminated. So you got the Tiger Faint Kick six one nine, the forward inverted white Russian leg sweep skull crushing finale. It was really good, but it came down to who sold the move better, who executes it better, and how does it get someone over? Well, Miz. You've done it to millions upon millions upon millions of times to hundreds of people. And you work it really well. You get a little bit of heat every time you hear the impact on the mat. Although the most memorable six, or excuse me, Jesus, I'm tongue-tied. The most memorable skull crushing finale I've seen since you've debuted was to Sheamus when you hit him with the Money in the Bank briefcase after he won King of the Ring and he had the WWE Championship. That was cool. One of the more legend, legendary 619s I've ever seen. I've seen it live, and I've seen it on TV. It looks way more kick-ass live. You got that shit on the great Kali and Ezekiel Jackson at the same time. That was pretty fucking cool. But he got one to uh, Jack Swagger when he won his second World Heavyweight Championship. And uh, that was one of the more memorable 619s I've ever seen in the last few years. But, when it comes to selling the move better, when it comes to getting a reaction to the crowd, and when it comes to execution, the skull-crushing finale by The Miz takes the cake. What do you think the finisher of the week should be? What do you think Hunter needs to do? Who's dominating and dominated? Who needs to be pushed or pulled? Here's how you tell us. There's a little button up there that says subscribe. Hit it. There's a little bar down below that says comment. Leave a comment. Go to Facebook.com. Type in your email and your password. Go to the little search bar and type in Stay Slick Wrestling. Like us. Send a post on our wall. Send us a message. On Twitter. SS Wrestling 31 SSW is capitalized. That is the show's official Twitter. Or you can tweet me, the host, the Slick Stallion Ollie Andrews at Slick Stallion, and we will get your comments on the show. We have a blog, www.stayslickwrestling.blogspot.com. We have Xbox Live, Slick Stallion. We have emails, stayslickwrestling at yahoo.com, slickstallion at gmail.com. 
Let us know how you feel. We love to hear your opinion, and we always value it here on Stay Slick Wrestling. I know we got a lot of a lot of things done really quick. I really improv this show, and I apologize for that. I just got a text from the anonymous Raw General Manager. So I'm going to go see what that's about. Y'all enjoy y'all Sunday. And for the girls, for the broski, for all my flags, and everybody here at Stay Slick Wrestling, I am the Slick Stallion Ollie Andrews reminding you to stay slick. Let's get it.